everybody, this is Christina, aka Miss Strawberry Bacon. I have some very exciting news to share with you guys, and I hope you will be excited too for this video. And look, Shea Moisture makeup products have finally hit Target stores. I found this at a Super Target in McDonough, Georgia, and as you can see, I bought three products from their line, but I couldn't wait. I bought them, and I want to do a quick demo and hopefully a decent first impression on these items. So the first item that I purchased is this sheer foundation, and it's in the shade Madidi Mocha. There are about 14 or 15 shades, like all together, and this one was like kind of like smack dab in the middle. There, was, and what I like about like all of these products, they have. Na they're named after just various places all around the world but um, along with the sheer foundation they also had a sheer pressed powder and a wet dry uh, powder compact formula and they all have coordinating names so if you are Medidi Mocha and the sheer foundation you just pick up the same name and the pressed powder and of course the wet dry powder and oh this was $14.99 at my Target and um, they give you 1.7 fluid ounces. Um, the next item that I got is this Lip Cheek Balm Insert and it's in the color Men Manarola Pink. I don't know, I'll have it listed. This was, um, shoot, I believe $5.99 and you get uh, .09 ounces. And um, what I've noticed, I haven't tried it, but I just kind of opened the packaging because I saw it that it says insert. And look, it comes like in a little uh, metal pan. And what I saw from the display, everything wasn't set up yet, but it seems like they're going to have um, like this palette that you can like insert like your cheek and eyeshadow um, items in there. So you can kind of like mix and match and, you know, create like your own palette. So, um, yeah, that's going to be tricky because, I don't know, I, I don't like having to buy more stuff for my makeup, you know. I just want it to be, have the packaging and just be that, especially since it's already like five, six dollars. I feel like they should have just put it in something, but I don't know, I'll probably just leave it in the plastic until I decide maybe I'll get that compact. But yeah, this is the Lip and Cheek Duo. And then I bought one eyeshadow. This is the Wet Dry Eyeshadow Insert in Montana. And it's like this really yummy, yes, yummy, I don't know, pinky taupe. So I'm just going to jump in. I want to do a little demonstration so you can kind of see how these colors look. And I just hope this foundation matches me. The lighting in Target wasn't very helpful but here is the foundation it is in a squeeze tube and why is that looking so red on camera but um, what I've actually done is I've applied some primer on this side of my face and some eyeshadow primer just to kind of see like the same day versus no primer on my face and I how well these products last on the skin so let's do it Ooh, please don't be too dark Oh, wow, that's, I think I put too much, and I think it's going to be really dark. Wow, it doesn't seem like it will be, well, maybe in the camera now, darn it, I should have. It's crazy because when I was choosing shades, this was the lighter one of what I went with. try to make this foundation work but I like that it has like a nice scent to it it's like a slight perfumey it's not over it's like too too much and it feels very very nice on the skin very um it is still like it says sheer I wasn't expecting too much from this but I feel like 
it's almost to medium coverage, so it's not incredibly sheer. I feel like it evened out my skin tone pretty well. It's just not the right colors. All right, so next I'm gonna apply this lip and treak, treak, what am I saying? Lip and cheek duo. This just smells like a lipstick. Like a straight up lipstick, like if you melted one and put it in a pan. <laughs> So it feels really nice on the lips going on, but it's just the sheer tint of color. I think it looks nice though. Like a nice everyday look. cheek I think it gives like a nice natural flush of color I think it looks really pretty and it feels really nice very balmy on the lips so good job for this one get the camera a little closer all right so I'm gonna try to apply this eyeshadow Ooh, this hair out of the way to my lids and then it says you can apply it wet or dry I think I'm going to apply it dry to the primed eye and then spray my brush and then apply it wet to the other eye and see how big of a difference it makes. Ooh. that is on a primed eye. So now I'm going to actually wet my brush and I'm going to spray it with this e.l.f. mist and set. I'm going to apply it wet now to my other eye and see if it changes. Ooh, that's even better. <laughs> intense with wetting a brush and then applying it versus just a dry brush and that's even on a primed eye but I'm gonna is this this looks driving me crazy so I'm gonna add a little bit more to this eye and then get a darker color and like contour it out because it just looks kind of janky with one color let's see how well it applies with my finger <laughs> cray cray but I just wanted to see how these products look and I don't feel like doing a separate video for each one I might as well just do them all in one but let me go and change this eye look up just a little bit to make it look a little bit more video presentable all right so I'm back to just give some initial thoughts on the products um, I think for these three they're very very good I have noticed some other things since I've you know been able to like look into a bigger mirror and I'm actually just gonna put on my glasses right now and you know looking at it with my glasses I can see um, there is like some fallout from the eyeshadow I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick it up but um, if you were to talk to me you can see just like shimmer glitter particles kind of like all over my face so there was some pretty good fallout from this eyeshadow the lip product I'm really loving it. it's just my lips just it just feels so very nice and bomb like not sticky 
or like waxy or thick it just feels really nice you can tell something's there but it's not like overly uncomfortable and even though it's not as pigmented as I thought it was it does give just a nice natural light um, wash of color especially you know I know a lot of girls out there like that I feel like this would be really good for like a nice everyday look this color and then um, on the cheeks it looks really nice and natural but you know still pretty vibrant and the foundation I think that it's like kind of changing a little bit settling in and it doesn't look as big of a difference as when I first put it on I'm just like whoa I don't think that this is gonna be a match for me so I guess for the foundation you probably just have to wait around which I should have shouldn't have freaked out before but I'm just like uh I'm gonna look crazy throughout this video but the foundation was really nice to uh, blend down. I mean, look how huge this thing is. It's, they're giving you a lot of product here. I definitely want to go back and try their wet to dry powder compact. Um, as far as the coverage, I feel like you could probably use a little bit more under my eyes. It still seems kind of dark there, but again, this is labeled as a sheer foundation. I don't think that it's as sheer as some other products I've tried before. It definitely has some coverage to it. I would say like pretty much a medium because like my, my acne scars are pretty covered up it's just I didn't really do too much under the eyes but I feel like if you have a good concealer you can work that out it'll be good but I mean so far I only have three products to show but I was actually going to Target to buy three other makeup items and these were around the same amount I would have loved to show you guys more but there really just wasn't a lot on the Shea Moisture display for me to choose from it's pretty much for those foundations eyeshadows and the blushes they didn't have any of those gorgeous lip um, crayons they didn't have eyeliners they didn't have mascara um, so I just bought what I could do but I figured you would enjoy seeing this video anyway and I'm gonna try to get back to you guys sorry for a little bit rambling I'm gonna try to get back to you guys and you know give you guys some updates on this makeup so far so good I love how it feels on my face it's like I feel like the foundation dries down to like a powdery finish. It doesn't really feel like greasy. It's not like, mm, doesn't really seem all that dewy, but I feel like it does give my face a decent amount of glow. So, so far so good. It is 12.57, so pretty much one o'clock. Uh, again, I'll try to check back in a few hours. Hey everybody, this is Christina. I'm back for my update on the Shea Moisture makeup items. It is 5.36, so what, four and a half hours later? Um, I just want to show you guys how everything looks. I guess I'll start off with my eyes. I think the eyeshadow looks pretty good. Both of them are still pretty intense. If you couldn't, um, if you forgot, this side of my face has been uh, primed. I did a face primer and an eye primer. I definitely think the eye with the primer is a lot more vibrant naturally but neither of them have started to crease and I think they're still pretty vibrant in color um, as for my face it's still I know my forehead definitely seems like the wrong color but I feel like it matches like my chin and my cheeks down to my neck I don't know you guys be the judge but the foundation still looks good I feel like it is starting to fade away especially more so on the side that I didn't prime I feel like more of my dark circles are starting to come out I'm starting to see a little bit more of my acne scars peeking through but I still feel like it's giving a pretty good amount of coverage and as for the lip and cheek duo you can kind of still see the blush a little bit but that too has like really started to fade and I've totally eaten off the lip balm but my lips feel really nice they're not they're not extremely moisturized but they're not dry at all and just in case this is my last update i hope you found this video helpful i hope it wasn't too long i'll try to edit it down and of course thanks for watching
Thank you.